the availability of water is scarce during dry spells, whereby farmers and their produce suffer. This dilemma has been a plague over the years, destroying months of hard labor. One of the main um, challenges for the dry season, and not for my system alone, I think generally for agriculture in any country, is lack of water. But I think um, right now we have a lot of studies being done and for water management. When we do get rain, we get excessive rain, excessive water, and when we get dry season, we get in drought. You know, for me, there are a lot of concerns in agriculture, but the main concern is that of high food prices. Agriculture is not developing in our area at all, and we need to do something about that now. It's unbearable. What can we do to better our lives? I invite a young man who will address us today on his very innovative idea in agriculture. Mr. Elroy Serapio, I would like to introduce him to speak to us at this time. Well, the answer is simple. Drinks. Drinks? Yes, drinks. Let me explain. This concept is done by, ex by enhancing the existing drainage system in size, structure, and connectivity. So that the water, the water from household use, the rainwater, all the water that is deposited into these drains will be collected via the advanced drainage system and be put and be sent to a solar power recycling plant where it can be produced in clean, safe drinking water. The type of treatment being used is tertiary water treatment. This method is used to remove the traces of dissolved solids and chemicals in the water after primary treatment, which is done only by the use of physical or mechanical systems. And secondary treatment, which is the treatment of water using biological means. Hi, I'm David Benny. I'm the Deputy General Manager of Wastewater Operations at WASA, and we are at Britain Wastewater Facility. I'm going to explain the treatment process this morning. This is the Beetham pump station that you see on the highway there. It collects the wastewater from Northwest Trinidad. The wastewater is pumped to the plant where the solids are removed. It then passes into this tank where air is added to grow the bacteria to remove and clean the wastewater, clean out the pollutants. It then goes to the clarifier where the bacteria, now termed activated sludge, settles out. The supernatant then goes to the UV disinfection chamber and then it flows out to the environment. This is the great removal chamber where the inorganic solids are removed from the wastewater. This issue is important, but why solar power? Solar power has been in Trinidad for over 25 years. As of now, the future for solar energy is very bright in Trinidad and Tobago. And the youth are now becoming more and more interested in energy, renewables, and the environment. That's the future for the country. First of all, sunlight is a renewable source of energy. Right? It is clean, economical, and often a safer alternative to fossil fuels. The free and inexhaustible fuel source reduces electricity costs and eliminates toxic greenhouse gas emissions and reduces the number of batteries tossed into landfills. The solar panels will provide the power needed to run the entire plant and support its functions. The recycled water will be used for agricultural purposes, the watering of crops, providing water for animals and normal day-to-day -day activities without having to worry too much about restrictions. It would last the entire year, therefore water will be conserved. This concept is truly innovative. We should involve other villagers from other communities to join our cause for change. Sure. We can use this to better Togo. Better Togo? Better Trinidad and Tobago? No. What about the Caribbean? The world. Sustainable solar power. Water recycling. 